What's going on, guys? This is episode seven of Pardon the Dashboard, and uh, I'm at my mental capacity for this episode. We are running a live stream right now with about 70 viewers, and it's taken me about an hour and a half just to figure out how to do this. And uh, one of the things that I'm dealing with right now is a one second echo, so I feel like I'm constantly interrupting myself. It's a, it's a pretty big pain in the ass. But with me today, I have, as always, IXI Sweat, fellow veteran, also known as Ben. And our guest for today is The End. Future veteran. Yeah, Future veteran. Right. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we all know you're technically challenged. It's right. I am, dude. I'm telling you. Like, for the longest time, I had the camera on me, and I was just, like, completely intent on this screen. It's, uh, it, it took about one hour and, like, 20 minutes just to get that live stream going. But But looking it at, happens. At, at every uh, thread on the Internet, I think I'm the first one to figure out how to do this the way that I did. And Wait, how, I'm just glad it? that I was here for it because it was really high comedy, like for real. It was funny. <laughs> you guys want to watch some? Never mind. We can't. We didn't even record it or anything. I wish I'd. I wish I'd have done some kind of screen recording or something. Because it was <laughs> it's definitely not. He was just sitting there about an hour and twenty minutes trying to figure something out. I really was. Really was. And I had a beer and it's all warm now and I'm drinking it. But isn't this the part where I'm supposed to talk about what I do you with my channel? The end. Yes. Go ahead yes. And right. Us, right. Uh, what you got going on? All with right. Your so channel? what I do, what I do with my channel is I do mainly, well, now battlefield videos since I'm so tired of Call of Duty, since it's like the same shit, different toilet every year, and um, I just like to do commentaries, and I'm trying to work on a couple of uh, like Black Ops movies since they got the theater mode going. So hopefully, if that thing goes right, then uh, I'll do more, and that's basically what I do with my channel. That's cool, man. You think Battlefield Three is gonna have the uh, the theater? I, I heard from a couple of people that Battlefield 3 is going to have it. Like, they were talking about, like, it was in articles, but I'm not too sure because EA is not really big on that. They're just, they focus on gameplay, really. Yeah, and that's that's, what they, like, that's yeah. true, but, I mean, that, that theater mode is so convenient from a commentator point of view, I tell you. And in Battlefield with tanks and jets and choppers and everything, that theater mode would be badass to have. That's true. Yeah, they're putting themselves behind the curve if they don't if they don't incorporate it. Yeah, I really do think so. Like, if they if they incorporate theater mode, it's definitely going to blow Call of Duty out of the water. Without I think so, too. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do anyway. And even, even without it, it'll blow Call of Duty out the water. You think so? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is going to do that because it's like, if you ever look at those videos, everybody says it in the comments, and what they say is so true. The Call of Duty scene is basically, there's a camper in that building. We all got to figure out a way to kill him. The battlefield scene is, there's a camper in the building. The dude blows up the building, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw C4 at the wall behind him, and yeah, that's, what, that's what we always do in Bad Company, too. Whenever there's a camper, we just knock down the building, and he's done. So yeah. that's, that's how you handle it. Or you just get your buddy with the tank, and he comes and just blows the building halfway to Hitler, and then... That's it. We keep moving. Perfect. That's how we roll. All right. So we were gonna. What, what else we were gonna talk about? What you got there for a sweat? Uh, Mortal Kombat, gentlemen, and uh, just released. What was that yesterday? And what are your thoughts on it? I mean, to me, uh, I'm not gonna play it. Uh, was never big into the arcade because all I do when I used to go to arcades when I was a kid is just spam the buttons, and I know how much that <laughs> pisses off some of you hardcore arcade gamers. So I mean, I'm not gonna get into that. But what I do know is uh, G4 said it was the best Mortal Kombat series. It starts at the at the Mortal Kombat 1 and builds on a great storyline. And, uh, yeah, what are, you, what are your thoughts on it, guys? I think they got some great hype behind it this time, and that's what's really important these days when it comes to a game. Like, uh, SOCOM just came out, and I didn't get any hype from that game whatsoever. So now that it's out, I'm like, well, shit, why didn't it? You know, but Mortal Kombat definitely has that behind well, hold it. Hold on, hold on. SOCOM, so you talking about SOCOM 4 that came out? Yeah. It exactly. came out already. It's that's exa that's exactly that's point. my point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just it just came out. Wow. It came out yesterday. Wow. Uh, hold on. Yeah. All right. Whoa. It did. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, that, I, <laughs> I mean, didn't even notice that. I had exactly... the beta, and I, I was trying to figure out when it came out. But yeah, you're totally right, though. I didn't really hear shit about it. Uh, I played the beta for like 30 minutes and then put it down. I, I didn't get into it. It what sucked. Like, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. It just felt weird. Really? Yeah. And maybe it's because it's third person, but at the same I, time, you know. I was about to say, you know, kind of getting off the subject of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we are again, talking I'm about Mortal Kombat, that, but, but it, that doesn't reinforce <laughs> it's my not, point. Well, it's, like, it's like Gears of War 3. That's why I'm not going to get in. I've never been into the, the third person, SOCOM 4, same type of deal. Third person is just not my thing. But uh, trying to transition back. Uh, Mortal did, Kombat. 
yeah, I, Mortal Kombat. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't never really. Nah, I'm not. I'm not really into those type of games. The the whole fighting thing, and you know, I just I've always been like the uh, the shooter type person. Grand Theft Got Auto, it. Call of Duty, Battlefield. That's always been me. Uh, things like Mortal Kombat, I just can never get into. You know what's really it, what's really interesting about Mortal Kombat to me, which is what I think a lot of th games need to keep in mind, is that you have the ability to watch your friends play. And I think that's going to be really big in, in the coming years. Uh, what I want to do and what I wish was already implemented was for me to log on to my Xbox, and I, if my friend's playing Mass Effect, I want to watch his gameplay. And you can do that with Mortal Kombat. You can actually, uh, from what I understand, you can you can taunt them and stuff like that. And and that's really what I like to see. Oh, so, so it's like, like a, a spectating mode. Yeah, kind of like this. If we were playing Mortal Kombat on the screen right now, and we had the the live stream here talking about it. Exactly, and you can talk shit and you know have oh, fun shit. with it. <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it definitely would. I don't think it'll work as as great like something like that into first person shooters because when people play first person shooters, they actually want to play. I think they'll get bored after a while of just spectating. That, well, that's true, but you know sometimes you just want to give your sh your friend some shit <laughs> <laughs> when he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think if it was. If like uh, if there was to be the same thing with the Call of Duty community, I think everybody would be watching Wings and giving him shit because that's all they ever do. But in Mortal Kombat, I think yeah, it's, it's good because it's like it's like back in the days where people used to go uh, to the arcades. Yeah, and exactly. everybody used to crowd around that twenty-five cent machine and and you know just curse at him or whatever. That's exactly what it takes me back to those people standing behind you at the machine, and then, and that's what's so awesome about it. But let's go ahead and move on to the next subject, man. Sure, and uh, that was the Escalation map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops. And uh, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and, and say your piece because there was one line that you, I'm sure one of you may cover that uh, one of the developers said that immediately made me want to jump into the, stream, uh, into the screen and strangle him. So uh, what are your thoughts on the Escalation map pack, guys? Well, I'm curious now. What, what's the line? What's, what, yeah, I was uh, just about to ask the same thing. The line was there are, I think it's word for word, is there's a plenty of places to hide and get <laughs> a jump on people. You're kidding. He didn't say that. Who he said, said that? There are plenty of places to hide and get a jump on people. Oh, and, my God. Yeah. He, should just, he should just reword himself into what he was really trying to say. Guys, it's very camper-friendly. <laughs> Find a corner, put your motion sensor underneath your asshole, and you'll be good for the rest of the game. They're he should have just said it exactly like that. I mean, there's supposed to be a lot more lines of sight, uh, long lines of sight for sniping, which is fantastic. You know, that, that's appealing to snipers. You know, that one snipe, the fact is they can't fix sniping on the game, and there's always going to be the issue with the sniper. So, mm -hmm. um yeah, man, I was, I tell you what I was most concerned with is I was supposed to be, I thought that was my finals week because I do a poor job of keeping track of when my finals is. Luckily, uh, that's the week before finals, so I'll be able to do my whatever midnight extravaganza of covering the map packs and getting videos out, and then I'll be able to have finals next week. But what are you guys' thoughts on it? I mean, other than the fact that this guy just came out and said, hey, campers are going to love this. <laughs> campers are going to love this, man. Uh, me, me, I always say uh, I hate Call of Duty and everything like that, but I end up sucking into it and just buying it. That's that's the way I am. I actually was lucky with the PS3 version of uh, the first strike. I got it for free. But hopefully I could get this one for free. I don't have to give Activision my money. Cause I, I got, really I got don't. one word. Maybe it's two, but now it's one word. Tiger blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking tigers, dude. I'm excited to see how they incorporate that into the jungle map. Oh, no, not jungle gonna, map. Oh. Yeah, the zoo map. You know they're going to have tigers in the zoo map? Yes. You're and that's kid. what everybody's all debating about right now, is if instead of dogs, we're going to have tigers. Is there going to be a red zone where you get attacked by tigers instead of shot by guns? Like in that would be Berlin crazy. Wall? Yeah, not a nine kill streak. Fucking how tiger. have I not seen that yet? That is hilarious. Or what is it? 11 kill streak, right? Yeah, look yeah. at that. I haven't been playing Black Ops that much. I forget. But that's what everybody's talking about right now. Because, I mean, every every uh, they've been slowly incorporating more and more uh, map danger zones, I guess you would call them. I mean, yeah. Uh, I you know, like in Berlin, Berlin Wall, Berlin Wall yeah. the Red Zone. Yeah, and I guess they're, they're also trying to implement more interactivity with the maps. For example, like in the radiation map, you can open and close the doors. Yes, and they're, yeah. they're doing that in one of them. I can't remember the name of the map, but they're having this central building which is pretty much going to be the focus of all the firefights i think and once you get in you can seal off most entrances with uh and let the, the tigers out that, that, well that's another thing i don't think no because it's not on zoo but 
There you go. He said the, the the one of the developers said, you know, you can close the doors and you can lock down that building. Meaning, you can close the doors and you can put your guns facing inside the building and wait for them to come inside instead of running around outside of it. Like I don't I don't know what they're. I think it would be cool trying to promote there. I think it would be cool if they had like what what one of you guys are talking about a danger zone, but instead you press like a button and it and it opens up a gate and a whole bunch of like tigers and cheetahs run out. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome, man. <laughs> There is no way in hell you can outrun a cheetah. <laughs> no way in hell. So that would be awesome. Or right, an right. ostrich or something like that. Because ostriches, now, believe it or is, not, are pretty fucking ridiculous. scary. This is getting ridiculous. Portal 2. <laughs> portal 2. Next, All right, yeah, let's move on topic. to Portal 2. Let's not see what I have written on that. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Portal, portal kind of, but it's gotten to the point where a puzzle game doesn't hold my interest when I sit down at the Xbox. And uh, what me and Sweat were talking about earlier was uh, the only time I play puzzle games is on my phone. So if they somehow incorporate it into the phone so I can play while I'm taking a shit, I'll be really excited about this game. But otherwise, <laughs> I just I'd, I'd rather invest my time. I was really in hoping he was going to include that. And that's that's my thing. I mean, the entire point of this uh, this game is a puzzle, uh, right? I mean, I don't I'm not a fan. I, I don't intend mm -hmm. on buying it. Um, why are, why are there so many let's plays and speed runs and everything? Like, why do people want to watch videos? Yeah, of I know. I, I don't get that too. The whole point of a puzzle is for you to figure it out, not to have exactly. other people figure it out for you. That makes no sense. Why buy the game? Just watch the freaking videos. Like, it what, makes no sense. What fulfillment do you get out of like doing it after somebody showed you how to do it? You know. And like, so many so many commentators have come out with uh, videos in the past day or two, and I feel like I already know the first half of the game. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it's like you just you already played through the game, so what's the point of buying it anyways? Now, That's, while I find uh, Hutch's and and uh, Cnanner's playthrough completely hilarious, I feel like I no longer need to buy the game. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But me, I, I have a uh, Portal, the first one for my PC, but it just I I played it probably for fifteen five minutes and I just got bored really quick. It's just not my type of puzzle game. Yeah, and, and I've said this before, what it really comes down to is, you know, I don't have the time that I used to to play Xbox. So when I finally sit down on my console after a long day, you know, I have to sit there and debate, uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to play a puzzle game or do I want to shoot people in the face? And usually it goes to shooting people in the face. <laughs> Especially yep. after a tough day, you know, your brain is mentally just exhausted. You just need the rest. Uh, I don't think a puzzle game would be the best, you know. Exactly. Just the rest, Shooting I just want people. to vent and shoot people in the face. <laughs> I don't exactly. rest. <laughs> yeah, for me, it, it takes more than that to, to calm me. That's why I play Battlefield. Instead of shooting people in the face, I just like to blow shit up. <laughs> That's just, it's much more fulfilling. Seeing a building just come down with a camper in it, it gives you a feeling like, bitch. That's the feeling. <laughs> That's the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> That's the feeling you get, but I don't think a puzzle game for me would be great for like after a long day. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our last uh, our last topic here, which is round three of commentator March Mad. Excuse me, commentator madness. Now people are yeah. getting upset. It's no longer March. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's dragging out a little bit, but I mean you gotta you gotta figure. But uh, man, I'm I'm first of all big shout outs to Quake and Chiz. You know those guys are really battling. Yeah. And, you know they're they're being really successful. So congrats, congrats uh, to those guys. It's actually congratulations, which is better than congratulations. It's like yeah, a, a lot of people like a were uh, <laughs> a lot of people were saying how how the the judgment is biased, and one, one like one piece of evidence towards that was that T Martin or if that's the way you pronounce his name, he was uploading he uploaded a video that he posted already, and what he did he just put subtitles over it. So that's what it, that's what everybody was complaining about. That why did he advance to the next round or some shit like that? I mean, did you we, see the explanation we touched on that before when when well, we first uh, started this uh, this as a topic on this series? And <laughs> there's always going to be complaints that something's rigged. I mean, yeah, of course. You're judging talent. How do you do that? How do you break that mm -hmm. down into numbers? Yeah, that's you know? de that's definitely true. I mean, it's it's much different from like having a a competition with sports. You know, that instead this is talent. So it's much harder to judge and, and like, you know, satisfy everybody that's that's viewing this March Madness thing. Absolutely. There's no final number at the end, like yeah. in March Madness. Because well, what's, what's one of your what favorite you, what videos you can this like week? one guy oh. and everybody can hate that guy, you know? Yeah. And he's he's the judge, so that's that's the way it's gonna work out. That's true. 
That's true. What's one of your favorite videos this week? Have you watched? What? Have you watched any of the videos this week? What, for commentator March Madness? Yes, sir. <laughs> I haven't watched any of it. I just saw the one thing with oh, really? Tim Martin. <laughs> I'm not, it's kind of weird with me. I'm like, I make commentaries, but I can't watch commentaries. It really it's that is so that ironic. Is yeah, it really I'll, is. Well, I'll, I'll throw something in there then, um, because what I've noticed, uh, the videos that are being most successful, and it's what I've, because I'm trying to incorporate it in my own videos, you know, because face it, it's, it's almost like the NFL where it's a copycat league. Um, it's the videos that are doing like a little bit of editing, you know, just a slight bit of editing, you know, a, a few effects, but keeping the main uh, exciting gameplay and the, the regular down to earth commentary or, or what or exciting commentary or whatever it is. But it's not you're not changing, you know, everything you do about a video for the March Madness. Those are the videos that are being successful, you know, a mm -hmm. few subtle uh, edits and stuff like that. And um I mean, if you look, that's that's what the the guys are like. The the smaller guys are beating you know these big names with uh, when it when it does happen. When Chiz moves past Ricky Chops, who you know he was he was really bold with the um, with the cartoon, uh, not the cartoon, the comic. And book. I know that took it, hours. Yeah, you, you know he I mean, worked his ass off. There's no question about that. And not to say Chiz didn't, but I'm saying it, it seems like what the judges are favoring and what you know what all the you know what all the the subscribers are fav uh, favoring. Or just those those few subtle edits, and that's you know, true. And to use that as an example, to go back to Chiz and Ricky Chops, why Chiz won is, in the end, were you entertained? And with Ricky Chops, I was interested. I wanted to see more, but I wasn't entertained in the same fashion I was with Dr. Chiz, where he took us back on a, kind of this nostalgic journey through our gaming history. So at the end of it, I was like, hey, that was cool. I was a little bit more entertained entertained when it came to Chiz's video to Ricky Chops, but I think I would be more interested to subscribe to Ricky Chops based off of that video because I wanted to see more, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But my that's just my is, opinion on it. My question is, um, and this might we might have to, to save this for another time, but how much exposure are these guys getting uh, in reality? Because, I mean, some of the, like, the first videos they got on here, getting 2,000, 3,000 subscribers, and then it certainly slowed down a lot, even though you're seeing the, you know, the guys that are winning are continuing to get their name out there. And I know this was supposed to be, um, you know, but for everybody to share subscribers, everybody get the exposure. You know, it was a win-win for Woody. It was a win-win for the guys that were that were participating. But how much is, you know, how much is it translating to personal channels? That's kind of something I'm interested to to start doing a little bit more research about. Again, it comes down, it comes down to the desire for somebody to see more from you. And I, I don't know the recipe for that. If I did, I'd be a lot more successful than I am. <laughs> I, think every, I think everybody, if everybody knew the recipe for that, it would be Eric kind of said, I got 6,000 subs. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should be looking at Eric, you know? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you got to, I guess, I guess the more people want to watch you, the, the more likely they will subscribe. But after a while, you know, I guess they get sick and tired of subscribing to so many people. That's true. Yeah, some people are reaching their end. I think it's going to take a fresh batch of subscribers, which means a new game that generates viewers, a new Call of Duty, a new Battlefield. Mm -hmm. I think some of us just need to wait it out until that happens. I just Idea. hope when uh, I just hope when Battlefield comes out, Battlefield Three, it gets a lot of attention. I think it which will. It, will. it most it will. likely will. I think it's going to overtake Call of Duty. You're not going to put a hundred million dollars in the advertisement for it not to. Not oh to yeah, I heard Absolutely. about that too. These guys, these guys Absolutely. went like hardcore on that advertising all right well i think we're we're coming up on our end of the uh of the series here i'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes so uh do y'all have anything i want to put out before we go ahead and end this thing battlefield Absolutely. 3 buy oh. it <laughs> battlefield and, uh, 3, buy. exactly i got i got nothing uh ivan uh the end i appreciate you uh appreciate you joining us man i love you too bro no homo <laughs> 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 all right, all homo. That's great. <laughs> I said no homo. You just said all homo. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I heard all homo. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. That's the way you go. It's all right. All right, all right. That's all we got, guys. This is Sergeant Merrill out here. <laughs>